Hello stamping friends, it's Angie Leach here with TwoCoolStamping.com and I have a really amazing project and class for you today. We're gonna feature a couple of different items from the Celebration Flyer, which is only good for two more weeks. We're getting down to the tail end of our Celebration promotion. It only happens uh, here in the beginning of the year. Last year we had two of them. I'm not sure if that'll happen again this year. So this might be it for celebration and it's always one of the best times of year. So don't miss out. Just as a reminder, this is all gonna end February 28th. Uh, we have a celebration flyer here and for every $50 or $100 that you order, you can select a free item from this flyer. Today we're gonna to be featuring the Daffodil Afternoon Paper, which you can get with a $50 order for free. And then we're also going to feature the Special Moments All Occasion Greeting Set. I love this one. This is free with a $100 purchase. And so if you have a $150 order, you could get both of these and you're gonna get Stampin' Rewards on a $150 order as well. So, again, this is celebration. It's good for just the rest of February. Um, it has two more specials associated with it. The one is a host special, which means for a $300 workshop or individual order, you can earn the Calming Camellia stamp set. And I'm telling you what, I haven't had a chance to use this yet since I'm just getting back to work, but I had a team meeting last night and there were some projects that they made with this set and this flower is just gorgeous. The detail on it, it's one of those distinctive stamp sets and so the detail is just absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna want this. This is with a free with a $300 purchase and that again can be an individual order or you can combine orders and the host would get that stamp set for free. Now the last promotion, um, part of the celebration promotion is the join promotion. And that is when you join my team, the two cool stampers, then you get to choose two cool stamp sets of your choice. So that's any stamp set out of either the annual catalog or the current mini catalog. And so it can be anything. It can be some of those larger ones as well. So anything you have your eye on, that is what you can select. And the best part is the starter kit that you purchase in order to join my team is always a great deal. It's just $99 and you get to select $125 worth of products of your choice. That's just an everyday, all year long deal. And that is a great, great value in and of itself. But during celebration and up until the end of February, you can select those two extra free stamp sets of your choice. So check it out, look in your annual catalog, look in your mini catalog, see what ones you might want to select. This is a great time of year to be saving on that type of thing and, um, and you just have just a little under two weeks left to get that special value. Now don't forget, when you're part of my team, there are all kinds of perks for being a part of that. So not only is that a good deal, but you're going to have a 20% discount on all of your future orders and you're gonna be a part of my Two Cool Stampers team. We have lots of fun behind the scenes. We have a Facebook group. We just had our team event last night that we do on Zoom, and we have creative presentations and um, challenges, prize patrol, uh, we do swaps, all kinds of fun stuff that we do as a team. Stampin' Up! offers fun stuff behind the scenes too. You can, um, they have all kinds of resources you can take advantage of. They have lots of different ways that you can earn product credit and uh, rebates and things like that. So you can get the most bang for your buck when you're placing orders. And the best part about it is you don't have to sell. There's no obligation to sell. I have, I would say, I don't know, 85 to 90% of the people on my team are hobbyists. They are simply stamping and enjoying the discount that they're getting on all of their stamping supplies. So they're just having fun shopping. I kind of like to think of it um, as Costco. You're like buying into a discounted savings program. So if you purchase a lot of stamps on a, a regular basis, or maybe you're a new stamper and you're adding uh, a lot of things to your collection right now because you're just getting started, uh, or you're just used to placing large orders, this is the 
this is exactly what you need. You're gonna get that discount on future orders plus this fantastic deal right now. If you have any questions about this awesome starter kit promotion, please contact me. Just message me here or send me an email and I'll be happy to talk to you about any questions that you have. Uh, you can go to twocoolstamping.com and find my email uh, box there that you can send me an email that way. All right, let's get started with our project. And today, um, our project, it's not just one project, it's five projects. <laughs> so we're gonna have a five card uh, class like we normally do. There will be a kit associated with that and I will share the host code um, when I turn the camera around. Please make sure, it's very, very important to use that host code. That lets me know which class kit you are looking at when you're placing your order because sometimes, like today, I actually have two host codes that are going on at the same time. Um, one for last week's live class. This is the final day for the uh, Friendly Hello class kit, so you can still earn that until the end of February 16th of 2022. Uh, and then for this Today and this coming week, we'll have a new host code for this class kit. So I have an overlap there. So if you place an order today, I definitely need to know what your host code is so I know what class to send you. Um, and there is a minimum of, of, not 50, $35. That's a $35 minimum. However, during celebration, you might want to think about a $50 order because then you can select that free item from the celebration flyer. And it just might be that Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper that I'm gonna show you today. So um, let's turn that around. I'll show you the host code and also show you some of the featured pro products that we are gonna be using today. So hold on one second, please. All right, let me get y'all set up here. Sorry about my hand in the way. All right, let me move this just a tad bit. There we go get the stand out of the way. It's always so awkward doing that. All right, let's get started. So let me show you what products we're gonna be using today. We're starting out with the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. That includes this really pretty stamp set. It's actually meant for Easter and Mother's Day, so you're getting a head start on that if you go ahead and buy this kit now, but it has some beautiful floral daffodil images, a little butterfly, some flex that you can use in the background, and this really pretty border. So I'm loving those images. Then you also have the daffodil dies that go with it, and look at all of the dies that you get. This is really an incredible set of dies. There's so many, and not only do you get dies to cut out the two different images here and the butterfly, you also get a lot of layering dies so that you can create your own layered tulips or tulips, daffodils, it's daffodils. <laughs> so you can, can uh, make your own daffodils with the cardstock. And we're gonna have one card that features that so you, you can get an idea. But I did wanna show you on the celebration flyer, just to give you an example of some of the different, cause some of these dies, it's kind of hard to figure out where they go. So if you have any questions about that, you can go to page four of the celebration flyer and it does have some different um, examples here of how to layer those daffodils. So there's buds of daffodils, there's one that's kind of more of a profile, one that's more of a full-on daffodil. Um, so you can see how those are layered and put together and what dyes would go together. Because otherwise, if you're just looking at all these parts, it's a little bit tricky to figure out how they all work together. So do uh, make sure that you have the celebration flyer as a reference. That's gonna help you figure out how to use those dies because I'm not gonna focus on the dies quite as much in this one. Um, if you do not have a celebration flyer in your hand, you can also you can always go to twocoolstamping.com and I have a link to the PDF that you can print out there. Okay, so that is our Daffodil Daydream Bundle. And then the cool part, the part that I love the most, is the Daffodil Afternoon paper. And this designer series paper is so, so pretty. So many of their designer series papers are just absolutely gorgeous. So I love, this is my favorite one. It's so colorful. It brings all of your colors together when you're creating a project. 
and then this is the back side of that so you have on the back side more of a coordinated more subtle background I love this one because you could actually just cut this into six different card fronts and then you can just add a little sentiment up there put an embellishment maybe some ribbon on it and you're done you don't even have to do any stamping so you can see that you can cut that apart and and use that in a lot of fun ways and then here is the background this one is so pretty I love those leaves some all the dark greens evergreen and um, pear pizzazz and mossy meadow uh, mint macaron those are all in there and then a beautiful heart dotted pattern this is also a favorite of mine that back black background I can't talk tonight <laughs> the black background just really makes those daffodils pop and then another pretty dotted pale papaya background for that one this one is just a really nice monochromatic um, bumblebee color and then the black for the background or the back side of that one and then the final one again that really nice black makes it really pop and you get not a lot of daisies and daffodils on this one along with another pretty yellow background as well so so many different pieces that are just gorgeous and they work so well with the daffodil daydream images and uh, dyes whoops I noticed I have a shadow it's because I didn't turn my little light on here all right so one other thing that we're going to be using is another one of the celebration items and that's the special moments stamp set this is available for a um, hundred dollar order you get that for free and it has all kinds of different occasions on here i mean tons there's 21 different greetings um and they're just really kind of basic they're thank yous and good lucks and hello sunshine thinking of you um just a card to say you're amazing best wishes i have something for you the thing i like about you is everything Lots of, and also a birthday. So you, there you have all the basics and you really cover a lot. And there's a lot of different sizes here too, sizes and shapes. So I, that's what I really wanted to um, use that. Since this stamp set only had a couple of different greetings, I wanted to make, um, I made the cards so that you could use several different types of greetings. So if you don't have this, you can just use whatever you have on hand and hopefully that you can find something to work if you don't have the special moments, but you'll definitely wanna add this to your collection. All right, let's get started with our first card. Oh, before I do that, that let me just um, let you know about the host code. So this is the new host code for this week for the Daffodil Kit. You'll want to put in the host code US2X 66WN, that's with a $35 minimum order. You can go to twocoolstamping.com to place your order and just click on the Shop Now link. And then that host code is going to be added on the checkout page of your online order. So you'll see that right above where you see all of the pricing information down along the right hand side. It'll be right at the top of that column where you add that host code in the box at the top of that column. Okay, let's get started. So we don't normally use vanilla, very vanilla very much, but this has the very vanilla as the neutral. So I started out with a very vanilla card base and it's just the standard base, the five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I did use the thick version of this. It's always great to use the, the very vanilla thick or basic white thick if you're going to use it as a card base it just adds a little bit more of a sturdy foundation for the rest of your card all right next i have a three and three quarter let me make sure no it's a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inch piece of basic black and then i have a couple of pieces of the daffodil afternoon paper the first one is the three and three quarter by three and then the other one is a three and three quarter by one and a half so we're going to add that to this black background here 
And this is actually, I am recreating a swap card that I received and I have, I think I've already featured it on my Too Cool Stamping blog. So you might have seen this one already, but I just love it. And I'm doing it exactly how she did it. And for the life of me, I can't remember who it was, but um, it is on my, my blog already. So this is gonna be the background. We're gonna do a little sentiment. This is three and three quarter by three quarter. Let me make sure. Yes, and it's pear pizzazz. And we're gonna add one of the special moments sentiments with a little memento tuxedo black ink. And I'm just gonna add that right over here. Just a little high from me. And we'll add that right across in between those two designer series papers. Then we can add that to our card front. Okay. Next up, we have, I have a little background here and I'm just gonna add that directly onto my card. This is a die cut uh, from the Tasteful Labels dies and it's in crumb cake. And we'll just add that right over here. Kind of center that along that sentiment bar. And now we're gonna have the focal point. So, I guess I already did this part. <laughs> I was gonna show you how I stamped the daffodil image in Memento Tuxedo Black ink, but I already did that. Part I, I do remember why I did that, and it's a little tip that I need to share with you. Um, when you are using Stampin' Blends markers, which we're gonna use on several of these cards, you'll want to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink with those um, because it's a water-based ink and it's not going to, um, it's not gonna mix with the alcohol in the Stampin' Blends and um, bleed because of that. However, I have noticed, and I don't know if it's on, I haven't really used it that much with the Very Vanilla, but on the new Basic White, there has been some bleeding issues if the Tuxedo Black ink is not completely dry, and I mean you really need to let it dry nice and thoroughly. Um, I like to stamp my image and then maybe come back to it 10 minutes later, at least. Um, I've just noticed that if you do something really quickly, then you are gonna have a little bit more bleeding than you might have had with the, the Whisper White that we used to carry. It's simply a different kind of paper, and tr you know, truly I have not found anything that has matched that Whisper White that we used to have, and I wish that they could find something that was as good as that was, but I don't know of any, I've tried lots and lots of competitors, and I don't know of any paper that's any better than the Basic White we have, but the Basic White does bleed a little bit more than the old. So be sure you let it dry thoroughly. If you can leave it set for a half an hour even, you're gonna have the best results. It, there's nothing that irritates me more than getting done stamp, or you're like coloring a whole big image, and then you come back, and then it's bled just a little bit, and it's just um, all of the black lines just kind of feather out a little bit. So that's one thing I wanted to do was just stamp that ahead of time so that we had a nice crisp image. Okay, so I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends. And this is the Old Olive Light. And I'm just gonna color in these leaves and stems. And I'm just using the brush tip end with a light touch, light feathery touch. You don't wanna damage that nib. And then we're gonna to try to make these look like, well, I'm not gonna have them be white. I wanted them to be, let's, yeah, let's do white. My, I have a sample card here, the swap card that isn't white. So we'll do one that is white so that we can really match that paper. So I am using the Pale Papaya Dark, and then I'm gonna use that same thing on the middle, the bell part of the flower, and keep that edge white for now until we add some color to it. 
And then I might just add a little bit of color to the lines there so that it just has a hint of color, but it's mostly white. Next, I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo, and this is also the dark. And I'm gonna just add that color to the very edge of this bell part of the flower. And that way, it really looks very similar to what we see on the designer series paper. So, that's really pretty. Now, I did this ahead of time. I used my daffodil dies to cut this out. And you can see where I colored the whole thing in the pale papaya and then added the flirty flamingo accents. We're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. And I'm going to need both the mini dimensionals and regular. So a couple of these leaves, I'm putting the little mini dimensionals. Have you guys purchased these before? Do you use those? Because they're really, really handy. And they get into those little tiny areas very, very well. So I'm like going dimensional crazy, but I just want to make sure it's pop popped up nicely. All right, we'll take off the backings. And do, 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 do. and then we're gonna add that to the front of our card. And we'll finish up with a couple of things. First of all, I have a linen thread double bow. So I've already tied that. And when you get your kit, you're gonna have these already tied for you. I like to do that as a little, a little perk because I know a lot of people don't enjoy tying bows or feel like they can't tie a bow very well. And I'm just gonna add that to a glue dot and kind of pinch it so that that glue dot goes behind the bow. And we'll add that to our little flower there. And then we're gonna to need to add some of these iridescent rhinestones. If you joined me last week and the week before, I've been going crazy with these iridescent rhinestones. And apparently everybody else has because they are on low inventory again. They have already sold out once, they got another supply in, but they are on low inventory. So if you do place an order, um, and you if you want some, you wanna place an order right away to get some before they go on to the non-orderable status. I don't know when, uh, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna be for them to come back in. So you definitely want to, uh, to get those while they're available. So I'm gonna, just gonna put a couple of these on here. I just love the iridescence all of the different colors that you see in the rhinestone they always they match the pinks they match the blues they just match everything i just love them and they of course they sparkle so we we love a little sparkle and bling okay so this is our first card and i'll show you one that i did as a too cool version i didn't like how it turned out as much so i decided to put the swap card that i received at in the kit because I just like that one better. But this one's okay. This one has an evening evergreen card back, uh, background. I used some different designer series paper, the mint macaron for the, the line that goes across, and then Hello Sunshine from the Special Moments kit. I did some different coloring there with Daffodil, um, just using Daffodil Delight stamp and blends. And I also used some evening evergreen and the darker uh, old olive for that. And I also posi positioned it a little bit differently. So if you want to have your focal point a little higher, you can do that too. So this is the one that will be in your card kit. All right, moving on to the second card. This one is just a little bit different than a traditional fold. It's just jade and you're going to have a seven and a half by five and a half piece. You're gonna score again on the four and a quarter, and that way you're gonna have a shortened card front. And I tried to design these cards to have a lot of designer series paper on them because I really wanted to showcase that. They're just so beautiful. All right, so first of all, let's put on this piece. This is a five and a quarter by three inch piece of Daffodil Afternoon paper. That goes on the top. 
And then I have a piece of Very Vanilla for the inside. This is a five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna add a five and a quarter by one and a quarter piece of afternoon, uh, Daffodil afternoon paper. Put that right along the bottom. And you can add that to the inside. So now you just have that border showing when you close it. Pretty. We're gonna add a piece of the Flirty Flamingo gold metallic ribbon. I love this ribbon, it's so, it's kind of thin, it's really easy to tie. And we're just gonna tie that in a double knot. Pull it tight and then we'll trim the ends off. And we'll scoot that over to the side. All right, now we're gonna put together a little focal point. So I've started with a layering circles die cut here in Very Vanilla, it's the largest one. And we'll use another one of those sentiments. Let's see, I'm gonna stamp, actually I'm gonna stamp my daffodil first. The nice thing about the circle is, like I mentioned, you can use the special moments stamp set, but if you didn't, if you weren't able to earn that, then um, you can use any sentiment that you have on hand. So I'm just gonna stamp that single daffodil right on there. And then I'll stamp the sentiment. Let me see that getting a little got a little too much ink on there there we go not too bad so there is our circle now we'll color in like we did before with some old olive and I love that these images um, they don't take a lot of time to color you get you can put a lot of different colors on them but they really uh, unless you want to get really detailed with shading but you don't really need to I also stamped that same image just on a piece of scrap paper here. And I wanted to, we're gonna make a second flower that we're gonna put over the first flower. So this one, I'm gonna use the daffodil blends and color those petals in. If you wanted, I'm using dark. If you wanted to use light, you could use light and do a little bit of shading on your petals. And then I'm gonna do just that inside of the bell flower, leaving a little white along the edges. So kind of a different look there. And then I'll, Fussy cut that. We don't have any dyes specifically to cut just the flower out. We do have the ones that'll cut the whole flower and stem and everything out, but not just the flower. So that's okay. A little fussy cutting every once in a while doesn't hurt anybody. And if you don't like the fussy cutting, you can just color your image right on your circle. Whoops, I don't want it, I don't want that leaf. So I'm gonna get really close to that flower right where that leaf line is. And if you notice, when I'm cutting, I don't do a lot of turning of the blade. I'm not doing a lot of this. I just pretty much keep my blade pointing straight up and I'm curving my paper around and that seems to work pretty well for me. I call it driving. I drive the paper around <laughs> and hold the scissors fairly still. Okay, so there is our daffodil. We'll use a couple of dimensionals here to pop that one up. And I should have probably adhered it to my background before I did that, but you'll see how I have a little pop up there. And now I also have a Just Jade scallop circle. This is the largest scallop circle from 
the layering circles dies. So I'll layer that on there. And then I'm going to pop that up onto our card front here. Now I want to make sure I don't have any dimensionals hanging over because I don't want to accidentally adhere my card shut. So we're going to flip it like that, hold that in place. And then I know exactly where I can add dimensionals without it harming anything. And I don't know, I didn't pay much attention, but you'd want to try to not have your dimensionals going over your ribbon. This, this ribbon's actually pretty thin, so it probably won't matter very much. But I try to put the dimensionals so that they're not on top of the ribbon. Otherwise, it gets too bulky and kind of uneven. All right, so there is our main focal point. And you know we need to add some kind of bling. So I die cut a little butterfly here with gold foil and I used the daffodil or daffodil dies for that. And let's get some get my glue dots out here. So just a little gold foil butterfly and he's hanging out right there. And then we also have these brushed gold butterflies. Have you tried these? Oh my gosh. These are so lovely and they go with any flower, any butterfly type of design, any spring card, just really, really pretty. A nice brushed finish on them. And the thing I like about them is they're very flat. Look how flat they are. So they are, you know, some, or some embellishments are so thick that it makes it hard to use if you're trying to mail the cards that you're making. But these are nice and flat. And so you can just add a couple of these and they're not gonna add a lot of height. They're very, you can see that they're very thin compared to even the popped up uh, piece. So there you go. There is our second card. And if you want to, you can stamp a little butterfly image in there as well. That's kind of fun. So this is the card that's gonna be in your kit. And then I did a too cool version this one starts with the bumblebee paper. I did it at, on a vertical orientation this time. I used the Just Jade gold braided ribbon, the same, scent, the same um, focal point basically, same front paper. I, I used the flip side of that gold paper, the bumblebee paper. The back side is that pretty um, black and then a different sentiment from Special Moments. So that's cute too. So if you wanted to, you could do your card vertical as well. All right. Next up, this is similar to a card that I've already blogged about. And again, it was inspired by a swap card that I received. So this one starts out with an evening evergreen piece. It's a quarter sheet of cardstock, just a four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we have a piece of designer series paper here, the Daffodil um, Afternoon. It's 10 and a half by four, so you'll be able to get three out of a piece of paper, uh, out of a 12 by 12, and then it's scored at the one and a quarter mark and the five and a quarter mark. So we'll fold that. So basically fold it in half use my bone folder here and then you have one little part that's folded back on itself that's your one and a quarter part so we're making a little pocket card and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to our card base so the card base just gives it a little bit of sturdy stability And then we want to make this into a pocket. So we need a closure. So the closure is gonna be this black and white gingham. Love this ribbon. I hope they have this for the longest time because it just, it really makes your, I don't know, there's just something really striking about it. <laughs> I like the way it pops on a card. So pretty. 
Again, just tying in a double knot. And trimming the edges. So there is our pocket. No adhesive needed for that. So this is just open on the edge. Then we have our pocket that goes in there. And let's decorate that with the border image. And that one. I didn't bring it over here. So I'm going to take it out of my other card. And this is what, <laughs> this is how I did the pocket. I didn't bring my bumblebee ink over here with me. So I did the, uh, I stamped with the border. I stamped with the border down here and then did that same daffodil flower down there. So you have a really pretty decorated pocket and then this border shows. And then for the sentiment, I have that same shape that we just used on the first card from the Tasteful Labels dies, this time in pear pizzazz. And we're gonna stamp on another one of those Tasteful Label die cuts. This one's in um, basic white. So both of these are basic white, which again, um, you're seeing very vanilla in the paper, but basic white really kind of goes with it too. So however you want to, whichever way you wanna go, it really works. So here is another sentiment from Special Moments. We're gonna add this to this label. It's kind of a fun and interesting border on there. And we'll pop that up onto our pocket. So this is just a really fast and easy way to do it. So you see how I flip that again, that way we know we're not going to put dimensionals too high up. I can also make them go around this, um, this ribbon, so it's not gonna be bulky. And we'll flip that right around. Where would I be without a friend like you? And then I left a little bit of room here so that we could add some Iridescent rhinestones again. Love it. Let's add a medium and a couple of small. So remember, if you don't have the, um, if you weren't able to get the special moments, that is a set that you can get for free with a $100 order. If you're not able to get that, just use whatever sentiment you have on hand. Um, if you don't have something that's vertical like this, you can move this ribbon over just a little bit and make this a horizontal element or even put the, the element down here if you wanted to. So lots of different options to uh, make it work for you. So there is the card that will be in your card kit. This is the card that I was sent as a swap card and I love this. This is also from the Tasteful Labels. Um, the shape is for the die and then the uh, you have my love and support is actually from the friendly hello stamp set so I don't think she stamped anything no she just put the regular pocket in all right next up we have a gatefold card we're gonna start that one with some evening evergreen as your card base this is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna score that at two and an eighth, and three, I'm sorry, two and an eighth, and six and three eighths. And then when you go to fold your card gates in, you'll wanna make sure that you have those lined up flush. So put them right next to each other flush before you do your bone folder. And actually I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take this off because you want it to be a nice, firm, hard surface when you're doing this. So line it up nice and flush and then push out. And that way your gates will stay nice and flush when they're cl closed. Otherwise, sometimes if you just fold it and score it, your, your um, gates might overlap a little bit or they might not touch. So if you line them up flush first and then push out, that's gonna help you line that gate fold up. Okay. Then to decorate each of the folds, we have a couple pieces here of 
the Daffodil Afternoon Paper. And this is a one and seven eighths by five and a quarter for both of the pieces. It's actually the same paper, just using both sides. So we'll have the darker side and the other side will be the hearts. I love all these greens, really pretty. All right, next we have a die cut that's in mint macaron and I use the scalloped um, contours dies to cut that out. So that's gonna be on our background like that. And we can go ahead and add that. Let's do that, that is, we're gonna add that with dimensionals. So again, we're gonna flip that over. We know to just put dimensionals on this side, we don't want dimensionals on the other side because we don't want it to be stuck closed. So I'll add several of those. I love how the papers really make your card come to get together so quickly. You don't have to do a lot of stamping on the backgrounds or textures. Just add the beautiful papers and you are ready to go. Just put an, a sentiment, a quick focal point, and some embellishments. Okay, next up we have a piece. This is just a scrap of Very Vanilla. And I'm going to ink up the larger daffodil image from Daffodil Daydream. Sorry, I see my camera is moving around. <laughs> so we'll stamp that. And then you can color that with Stampin' Blends however you like. I've already done that since we've done a little bit of coloring already. I've already done that and cut it out with the daffodils dies. So that is ready to pop up on the front of this card. I just love how it really, um, I use pale papaya again and the flirty flamingo and that really, really pops against that mint macaron background. So we'll add some dimensionals. You might wanna have a few mini dimensionals and Add that to the scalloped rectangle. You know I end up with dimensional backings all over my house because I throw them all over the place. So do you guys do that? Or do you, are you nice and neat and put them right in the trash can as soon as they come off? I do not. I just flip them around and then I clean it up later and then they end up on the floor. It's not, <laughs> it's probably not the best, but that's how I work. All right, so now I have another scrap here of very vanilla and this time it's three by five eighths and that's going to fit the happy birthday sentiment from special moments and we'll ink that up with the memento ink again and if you wanted to you could banner cut or fishtail cut the ends i'm just going to keep it straight this time and I am gonna add a couple of dimensionals here. And I'll just add that right across the bottom. Of course, we need to add a few of the iridescent rhinestones. I'm gonna make you love these if you don't love them already because I use them all the time. They're just absolutely awesome. So let's put one here, another one here, and one over here. Okay, so there is our gate fold. And I actually did a little, this was the card I started with. I did a, just a little border across the inside. So don't forget to stamp the inside to, to continue that decoration onto the inside of your card where you write. So this is the card that's gonna come in your card kit. And then I also have a too cool version. This one starts with the basic black. As your gatefold, I used a couple of other designer series papers, Flirty Flamingo for your scallop rectangle. And then I just did kind of a little bit different coloring there. 
but still use the pale papaya and flirty flamingo. I think I used the light pale papaya on those. And then I used that Happy Mother's Day from your Daffodil Daydream. So that's one of the sentiments from there. You could also use um, Easter blessings from that as well. Some rhinestones as well. And then a different color, this flirty flamingo border on the inside. I love both of those. Sometimes I like things better than the other, but I really like both of those. Okay, one last card. This is a little bit different. Like I was showing you earlier, there's so many different ways you could do die cutting and layering of cardstock to make daffodils. Um, I didn't want to do a lot of that just simply because I have so many class kits to make. I didn't want to have so many die cuts to be doing for you guys, but if you have the dies, you'll be able to do that on your own. So I wanted to give you an idea for how to use that. So this card was actually a card that I learned how to do last night at my team event. Um, Kathy Madsen showed us how to do this. This was her mystery stamping project. So I loved how it turned out and I said, hey, I'm gonna case that for my class because I need one more card idea. So this is a four and a quarter by nine inch piece of very vanilla. I must have a little bit of black on my <laughs> hands. I have a little bit of ink because I'm transferring it. And then I scored it at the one and three quarter mark and also the seven and one quarter. Or you can just do one and three quarter, flip it, one and three quarter. Either way works. So this is our card base. The part, if you just cut your cardstock in half vertically and then cut down to nine inches, you're gonna have a piece left over that's two inches long. So you wanna save that piece because we're gonna use that as part of our card. So set that aside. We're gonna decorate the card base first. So this is a four by one and a half. And I'm gonna add those to those card flaps, the front flaps. like so. All right, I just got, I'm getting adhesive everywhere, I'm getting ink everywhere. It never happens to you guys, I'm sure. All right, so this extra piece that we have, I also have a piece that's gonna match that. This is gonna be one and three quarter by four. So I'm gonna use that black. And that's going to kind of, it's just gonna kind of hang down off of that top. So I want to put dimensionals up here to make that nice and sturdy. So again, I flipped it over. That's a great tip so you know exactly where to put those dimensionals. If you don't wanna use dimensionals, you want to use something that's really kind of uh, secure adhesive like Seal Plus or liquid multi-purpose glue. So here is that. So that flap's gonna hang down. I made it just a little bit crooked, but that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're gonna set that aside for now. And then I want to assemble one of the daffodils. So I made some die cuts here using the daffodil dies. I have a couple of overlapping pieces that are gonna be uh, in very vanilla and then and I just made this daffodil really simple like I said I didn't want to do a whole lot of die cutting otherwise I was going to make myself crazy trying to get these kits out but there's a solid piece for the bell part of the flower and then also an outline piece so this one's in pale papaya this one's in flirty flamingo very similar to what we've been doing with the coloring I'm going to use just a little bit of multi-purpose glue. Not a whole lot, you don't need a bunch. And add that. And 
and then we'll add I used entirely too much glue there a little bit of glue I said and then I did not follow my own advice so now I have it all over my finger all right I'm gonna use seal for this just because so there is our quick die cut flower and then they also have let me show you I mean there's so many so I use these two um, for the flower I think they're identical they just you just need two of them to put together there's also leaves and then stems as well and there's two of each of those so I love that they give you multiples so that you can cut more at a time you can make a whole bunch of daffodils if you wanted to so I'm going to start by, I think I'm going to just put this directly on. Hmm, let's go like this. Let's put a little bit of seal. Put this where we want it coming out of the flower. And then just a little bit of the Tombow. Do, 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 tiny bit. And this will go right here. However you want to, you can have it go more straight up and down if you want to. It's gonna kind of hang off the edge here, but we're going to just cut that off. Bloop. And then we're gonna add a leaf as well. So I have that already die cut and ready to go. Just a tiny bit. I took my own advice this time. And we'll add that right here. Again, cut off the edge, the end. And there is our die cut flower. And I love the Tombow glue is gonna hold it nicely in place. You definitely need to just kind of hold it in place for maybe 30 seconds and then it's gonna be nice and secure for you. All right, we're gonna finish up with, this is just some pale papaya scrap and we'll stamp a Happy Mother's Day in the Memento Black Ink. Then we're gonna use the double oval punch and I'm gonna use the straight edge one for the sentiment. And then I have a scrap of Flirty Flamingo for the scalloped edge one. And I loved that this kind of mimics the edge of that bell shape of the flower and the colors of that flower. So it kind of goes right along with that theme. There we go. And my adhesive, now if you have adhesive on your fingers, for some reason it picks up the ink and it smudges it. So be careful of that. So I'm gonna put this right here. So again, I'm gonna pop that up. And have it overhang just a bit. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp the sentiment right here. Um, I, I'm gonna finish this card a little bit differently. I'm gonna finish the inside of it with a pear pizzazz piece. And I'm gonna stamp that border. I'm gonna stamp that right across the center and then one above and one below and then we'll add that to the middle and I love having look at this I'm just getting ink everywhere <laughs> silly silly 
Okay, so this is gonna be, I love how that pops, that color makes it really pop from the inside there. And then it's a little bit difficult to write on this if you don't know where to write that it's not gonna show up. So what I did was I cut a piece that's exactly the same size as the designer series paper. So it's uh, one and three quarter by four. And I'm just gonna add this. It's a very small section, but it is, that way at least you'll know exactly where to write. Now what you wanna do is put your adhesive on, then center it in that space and then you're gonna close that down so you know exactly where that goes. So I got mine just a tiny bit crooked, but you know exactly where that's gonna go. It's gonna be completely covered by this. It's not showing. And then this is gonna be where you can write your little message for the inside. So there is our last card. I don't know what this is called really. I'm gonna call it a front flap card. That's really not very exciting, but I don't know what to call it. Maybe you guys have a suggestion or maybe you know what the name of it is. If you do, tell me because I have no clue. I did a similar card with Easter blessings and I used the flex. Oh, I forgot to put my rhinestones on there. So put your rhinestones on there as well. You gotta have bling, right? Uh, and then I also did a too cool version. This one starts with very vanilla the same way. We used a different designer series paper here, same black for the background. I did the flower, just a tiny bit different, but they mimic what you see in the designer series paper. I believe it was So Saffron and Bumblebee. And then the same kind of thing with the sentiment. And I put some of those pretty butterflies on that one. Okay. That is our class. Let me bring out all the cards again. These are going to be all the cards that you'll have all of the pieces to make them with your card kit that you earn. Here's our pocket card. We have the shortened one. I don't have enough room in the camera space to put them all. But here are all of the card parts, um, or cards that you'll get parts for. And you'll get all, you know everything. You'll get all of the die cuts. You'll get all of the designer series paper. Um, all you'll need to add is the stamp set, the Daffodil Daydream stamp set, and uh, anything that you have to color, stamp and color and die cut later. I don't do the die cutting with those, obviously, because it's gonna be really difficult. Uh, with a cling stamp to get that all lined up and put on a die cut. So if you don't have the dies, you'll just have to fussy cut those. Otherwise, get the dies and that way it'll make it really easy to cut out something like this and something like this. Um, otherwise, everything will be die cut for you. And yeah, I think that's all. So you'll get all the parts and pieces for these five cards. I'm going to have this particular class open until next Wednesday, which I believe is the 23rd of February, 2022. And um, then I will get everything prepped and mailed out by the following week on March 1st. So you have plenty of time to put those together for Mother's Day or Easter or just any occasion, depending on what you decide to use from your special moment stamp set. All right, and don't forget, it's a minimum $35 order. You'll want to go to twocoolstamping.com to place your order. Just click on the Shop Now link. Use that host code. That's going to help me determine which class kit you are looking for. I don't want to confuse it and send you something that you didn't want. Um, so make sure that you use that. That's going to be on the checkout page at, right at the top. You'll see a box that you can put that host code. Um, yeah, and... Even though we have that minimum $35 order, don't forget about Celebration. You can earn a, f a free item from the Celebration flyer with just a $50 order. That means you can get that Daffodil Afternoon uh, paper for free 
when you place that $50 order. So that'll be something that you can also earn in addition to the kit. So you'll be able to make additional cards on your own. Um, if you wanna place a $100 order, there's a couple of items in that flyer that you can earn for free. One of which is that special moments stamp set with all of those really cool greetings for all occasions. So that's a really great one to have. And that, um, that celebration is only lasting through the end of February, don't forget. Okay, let's wrap it up. Thank you so very much for joining me this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the cards and hope you place an order and uh, get a chance to make them on your own. So much fun, so pretty. I tell you, I'm so ready for spring. Daffodils would be delightful to see outside my window right now. But until then, we'll just have to make cards. <laughs> All right, thanks again for joining me, everybody. Until next week, this is Angie with TwoCoolStamping.com. See you later.